Hello and welcome to Oncology for Med Students, a series of videos aimed at helping medical students get to grips with concepts in oncology. Here's the first video on neoplasia. So what I'd like to cover in this video is a quick word on what these things, neoplasms, are, why they're bad, and how this relates to cancer. So I think to start with, it's useful to put things into some sort of context. Once upon a time, all living organisms would have been made of single cells. Another way uh, to describe them would be unicellular. As evolution progressed, cells have found ways of working together with other cells in order to improve their chances of survival. Over millions of years, this process has produced many complex forms of multicellular organisms, like this very smart customer here. Being multicellular comes with a number of benefits, like being able to be bigger and perform more complex tasks, as different cells within the organism are able to take on different specialised roles. Being multicellular, however, comes with certain risks. For a multicellular organism to function properly, every cell in the body must be a team player, working together to aid the survival of the whole organism. As part of the deal, cells must only divide when they're permitted to, at the right time and at the right rate. This is tightly regulated through their interactions with other cells in the body. In this example, I'm looking at the skin cells of this gentleman. Please bear in mind that this is a very simplified example. In this instance, cells are dividing at a rate that's enough to replace the other skin cells uh, that are lost, keeping the same number of cells. Other cells send signals to tell the cell when it should divide. Unfortunately, the mechanisms within the cells that regulate division are prone to going wrong. This is where neoplasia comes in. So, what is neoplasia? Neoplasia means new growth. A neoplasm, or a new growth, appears when damage occurs to a cell that allows it to divide regardless of whether it's being told to by other cells. Neoplasms divide at a faster rate and in a way that is not coordinated with surrounding tissue. They continue to grow even when the factor that brought about the change has gone. So, the stimulus could be a countless number of things, which we'll discuss in later videos, but for the sake of this demonstration, we'll use the example of UV light damaging the skin cells. The damage from the UV light here has caused this cell to become a rogue cell. The cell divides even though the stimulus, the UV light, has gone. And it continues to divide even though it's not being told to by other cells. The neoplasm, or new growth, doesn't care. It's not listening and it certainly isn't a team player. Now, if you hadn't heard the word neoplasm before, you've probably heard of another word that's used to mean the same thing. And that word is tumour. Tumour is a term used to describe a swelling. It was originally used to describe swelling associated with inflammation, but over the years, this term has become used to describe neoplasms. Oncology is a term used to mean the study of neoplasia, new growths. The prefix onc means tumour, and it derives from Greek.
So at this stage, you might wonder why neoplasms are such bad things. The bottom line is, neoplasms aren't team players. They're not concerned with the well-being of the organism as a whole, and only really look after themselves. They can have many effects, but in general they cause problems because eventually, as they grow, they compress structures around them and stop them from functioning, for example, internal organs. They're essentially like parasites. They benefit from the support of other cells um, in the body, but they're detrimental to the organism as a whole. However, where parasites come from outside the body, neoplasms develop from the organism's own cells. So what is cancer and how does this relate to neoplasms? Well, neoplasms can be divided into two camps. These are benign or the non-dangerous tumours and malignant dangerous tumours. As we'll find out in the next video, they differ in various aspects the key difference is that malignant neoplasms are capable of invading and damaging the surrounding tissue and have the ability to spread to other parts of the body. So what does cancer mean? The word cancer is thought to derive from a word meaning crab. Hippocrates, the famous Greek physician, first applied the word karkinos, meaning crab, to the tumours he was studying. It isn't known exactly why, but it may be that the physical appearance of the tumours reminded him of a crab clinging on to a person and refusing to let go. This crab-like appearance is due to the cancer invading the tissues around it, which is a behaviour of malignant neoplasms. And that basically is what cancer is. Cancer is a word more commonly used that means malignant neoplasms. So, in summary, neoplasms, or tumours, are new growths that occur when a damaged cell starts dividing at a faster rate than its surrounding tissues. Neoplasms can be benign or malignant, the main difference being whether the tumour has the ability to grow into other tissues and spread to other parts of the body. These are properties of a malignant tumour. Cancer is a word used to describe these malignant neoplasms. So in the next video we'll look at the key differences between benign and malignant neoplasms. In other words, what is it that makes a tumour or a neoplasm cancerous? Thank you.